Kylie, do you <laughs> Kylie, do you know any? <laughs> <laughs> I have the giggles. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I literally cannot read my script. Why do I have a feeling that whoever's editing this is gonna put that in? <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to reforestation update number three. This month is going to be a little different as you can see me and Nicole are filming remotely to respect the new guidelines for COVID-19. But don't worry, we're still gonna be covering some of our amazing projects and keeping you up to date on everything happening at One Tree Planted. So if you guys are new here, my name's Nicole. I work on the marketing team as the web designer. And my name is Kylie and I'm a project manager. And we use these reforestation updates to virtually travel across the globe and explore or some of our amazing projects that are either in the works right now or have been completed. Should we roll it? Get into it? Roll, roll it! it. <laughs> so first up is our amazing project in Indonesia. We're just wrapping up our 100,000 tree project in the Lampung region. Your donation dollars to this project have gone on to directly support the livelihoods of 40,000 farming families depend on forests and the resources that they supply. Unfortunately, the misguided and poor agricultural practices have consequently led to deforestation, damaged soil, contaminated water bodies, and eroded catchment areas. Luckily, that's where Once You Planted comes in. We'll be working with local farming communities to stop and further prevent the encroachment and deforestation of national parks, as well as sustain the livelihoods of the people who depend on forests. Next up, we have Scotland. Our planting has just started in the wild heart of southern Scotland in Tala and Game Show. The site is comprised of two main valleys with fresh flowing water in the Game Shop Burn and Tala Burn that feed into the Tala Reservoir. These areas cannot rely on natural regeneration, so we are planting 24,300 seedlings across more than 1,800 hectares to restore native woodland to an area where deforestation occurred centuries ago. This project is part of a larger landscape scale ecological restoration project that seeks to return the native woodlands and associated natural habitats to this 31 hectares of Scotland. Is it really bad? I can't eat during this. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know what it is about working from home, but way too easy to snack all day. <laughs> Next up is Ethiopia. And we are super happy to announce that this month we started our 150,000 tree planting project in Ethiopia with one of our long-term partners in this region. Some of the key impact areas of this particular project include biodiversity and habitat restoration, climate stability, as well as soil stabilization and erosion control. The planted trees in this region will go on to efficiently protect downslope dwellers from flood damage. Something else that's super cool about this project is that on top of the wildlife numbers that will gradually be increasing with the restoration of habitats is that the trees that we're planting will improve the microclimate, meaning as trees transpire, they increase the atmospheric moisture, which creates optimum temperature and moisture for the surrounding regions. Like many of our projects, our long-term planting partnerships will go on to support the livelihoods of of local communities. For example, this Ethiopian project will incorporate youth groups who will get an income from seedling sales and local communities will benefit from additional income from beekeeping and grass for livestock provided by restored public lands. Hey Nicole, it's about that time, huh? Can you give me the time? <laughs> Deep dive. Deep dive time. Deep dive. All right. This week's deep dive is on a unique project where we not only get to address deforestation, but also pollution and contamination of land from mining practices. One Tree Planet has partnered with an organization called Green Forest Works to restore and reforest degraded land in 10 sites across Pennsylvania. This project has just started and will plant 207,810 trees over the course of 2021. These 10 sites include legacy surface mine lands, abandoned mine lands, as well as forested lands that have been impacted by exotic insects on both public and private lands across the Pennsylvania state. 
couple questions. What benefits does reforestation have on surface mined lands? Great question. So reforestation of surface mined lands provides numerous benefits, including control of unwanted vegetation, the creation of young forest habitat, and the eventual creation of mature forest habitat, which reduces forest fragmentation. Additional benefits of these reforestation projects include increased biodiversity, multi-seasonal nectar sources for pollinators, and improved wildlife habitat for targeted species. Certain trees actually have the ability to accumulate metals in their tissues, which may reduce inputs from soil contamination into watersheds over time. How will reforestation impact biodiversity? As the seedling grows, this project will create a patch of young forest habitat that many songbirds, game birds, reptiles, and large and small mammals rely on for foraging and breeding. As forests mature over time and biodiversity increases through the process of succession, different species will benefit. Acorns from mature oaks will also be beneficial for white-tailed deer, wild turkey, ruffed grouse, and a variety of small mammals that reside in the area. What are some of our long-term goals of this project in Pennsylvania? Well, this is a huge, large-scale project and there are many long-term benefits and long-term goals, but I'll just highlight two major ones here. One long-term goal of this project is to reduce forest fragmentation and increase the extent of contiguous forests to benefit neotropical songbirds, such as the Krulin warblers. They are considered by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service as a bird of conservation concern, so rebuilding their habitat is extremely important to the survival of this species. Reforestation of surface mine lands will also increase the extent of contiguous tracts of forest, benefiting other interior-dependent bird populations. Another long-term goal is to improve downstream water quality for community members. Reforestation of upland sites increases water quality and quantity by sheltering um, ephemeral streams and buffering water releases from sites. Like I mentioned before, some trees have the ability to absorb different contaminants in their tissues, so this is a huge part of ensuring healthy water quality. I really loved going over this deep dive today. This is a perfect example of how planting trees is a huge part of addressing climate change. They not only clean the air, but also so many parts of the environment, and they are a big part of rebalancing ecosystems. All right, so that concludes our third reforestation update. We are all doing our part and working towards the end goal of hopefully seeing brighter days ahead without this novel coronavirus. So thank you again for tuning in to this reforestation update. As always, please subscribe for our future updates that come every single month. Give this video a like, comment what projects you want to see down below and share it with all your friends and family. We will see you guys next month. Yep, stay safe everyone.